This guy needs to make up his mind. Pick a color! Hey, what's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin White Ranger! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, of course, in the background we have a bolt of lightning, and we got the White Ranger right there, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, limited edition, Legacy Collection White Ranger, logos and logos and windows and windows and words, and on the back you have your obligatory product shots, there is the rest of the wave, and if you have all five of the main rangers, you can build yourself a mega sword, and that's basically it for... With that packaging. So moving right along here we have the Legacy White Ranger, a very cool figure if I do say so myself and I do because I'm the only one in the room but anyway let's take a close look here at that helmet very nicely done the gold paint is quite quite nice on this figure. And you got the black right there as well black for the visor you got silver there for the mouth plates a very nicely done sculpt there for the helmet looks very very good Got the chest piece here, which is done in a gold plastic. Uh, mine does have some schmutz on it. You can see it. Uh, schmutz. Uh, schmutz and even some black paint got smeared on here. And he's got schmutz. He's got schmutz. Just schmutz. Too much schmutz, but anyway. <laughs> nice detailing, though. And going down the suit itself, you can see the belt buckle there. Very nice. Got the little straps there going around his arms. You got the gauntlets there done in the black and gold, which again looks very, very nice. And going down the legs. Got more of that gold and black there on the boots. And going up the back. Not a whole lot going on, but you got the black, gold, all that good stuff there. Now articulation-wise, he had come to a full 360. He can look up, he can look down. The shoulders... Do a full 360, but you're kind of having to flex plastic a little bit and, and bring the arm out to really get it to move a full 360. Um, outward movement, you get that much. You do have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow there, so you get a nice full range of movement. The wrists are on a swivel as well as a hinge, so depending on how you have things oriented, you can get that hand moving in any direction you want. You do have that, uh, that glove swivel right there, which again... Really don't know what purpose that serves, but hey, it's a thing that can move. Um, he does have that ab crunch, so he can arch back, he can crunch forward. Does have a waist swivel, legs can go forward that far, back, only that far. Outward movements, that far. Does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, you get a nice deep bend there. You have that boot swivel. And the feet can, they can't really move up. They don't really go past that point. They can move down, and you do have tiltage there. So, still pretty poseable. The chest piece does hinder the, the uh, movement in the arms a little bit, but otherwise, just as poseable as the other ranges. Now, he does include a holster right here for his weapon, which is just done in that gold plastic. And you can just take that and peg that into the side of his belt, like that. And what is the holster for but his trusty sidekick, Saba! He does include Saba. And Saba is very nicely done. Um, you can see, there's a lot of nice detail going on there. And the top of his head is painted silver. You got the black, you got the red for the eyes. And it's actually very nicely done, nicely detailed. The gold paint, again, looks very nice. And the detail that's supposed to be there is there. You can see the blade done in a nice silver. Very well done, in my opinion. And the sword itself is a bendy plastic. And you can hold Saba. Nice and secure-like. So you can have that going on, or if you want Saba right here by his side, there is just a, uh, <laughs> they basically just slice this thing open. <laughs> that's pretty much how that works. They just molded this in place and probably just took a knife and went shoop and just sliced that open and you just take Saba and you just wedge him in here if I can get this open there you go you just get him in there you can see he actually doesn't even this doesn't even close around it so I think it was just a case of oh I think we made this too small we can make it work just 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 cut it open but there you go you can have Saba there holstered 
that zombie side. But of course, I like my rangers holding their weapons. Except for the blade blaster. I, don't, I honestly don't like them holding the blade blasters because they just don't look good as weapons. But, um, there, yeah, yeah, that's. And for comparison, here he is with his alter ego, the Green Ranger. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with the figure arts, White Ranger. So you can see how they look together. There with his figure art self. And we'll bring in the rest of the Legacy Rangers here. So we can get a group shot of this incarnation of the team. We got pink. And we got yellow. And there we have the whole team. And yeah, a very, very cool set of figures. You know, I said it before, I'll say it again. These are just really, really well done. Just really playable action figures. I think these are just really, really well done. I really like them. So there you have that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the White Ranger right there. Again, very cool figure. I dig them. I'm really digging these figures. Um. Yeah, I, I like them. I like them very, very much. So, there you go. So, if you would like any Legacy Power Ranger toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin White Ranger, and this is Emgo saying, Remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Bomb in your face! All right, come on, Sabo. We gotta go help the others. And we'll get to them in good time, but we should stop and get some frozen yogurt. I have such a hankering for some frozen yogurt. What frozen yogurt? We can't stop for frozen yogurt now. Our friends are in danger. Oh, they'll be fine. There's five of them. They can take care of themselves. Come on, let's go throw you! I can just drop you, you know that, right? If you even think of dropping me, I will give you such a thrashing, you will never forget it! Now throw you me! <sighs> Kermit the Frog was wrong. It was so much easier being green.